Hi, Eli Peterson with Case H. We're going to walk through the prescription import and setup for prescription control on a 2000 series planter controlled by a Pro 1200 display. We're going to start off in the planter universal terminal, which will default to run 7. We're going to go into the three bar menu. If you have already worked through your planter setup wizard, you can go right to your work condition setup. Here we have a number of work conditions already set up by default. Again, these are going to save the configurations for that application. In this case, we have a soybean 56 cell prescription work condition. The key in this are two part. I need to make sure that when I run a prescription, I have rate all unlinked. In this case, soybeans, I'm using all rows of my split row planner. And second part, I want to make sure that these cells per disk are accurate. In this case, we are using a 56 cell soybean disk. So we're going to indicate that the system or the planter is going to use the soybean 56 prescription with no liquid, indicated by the green dot. Once the planter has been selected and the planter understands what it is going to do, I need to now import my prescription and then assign that prescription. So we're going to navigate to the seven box with the up arrow. It'll take us to our main menu inside the Pro 1200. And we're going to go into our data setting. Inside of the data setting, we're going to import that prescription. In this case, we're going to go to import. I have that prescription set on a USB. If you use AFS Connect, you can also import over the air. So that's where the cloud icon would come into play. I'm reading the USB. We have both a shape file and a task data. Inside of the shape file, it's going to prompt me to assign that shape file prescription to a field. If you have created that prescription and it is in a task data format, that prescription is likely already assigned to a field. So I can select that task data. It's going to ask what information I would like to import. As you see here, for my drop downs, I have my prescription already assigned. In this case, I can hit import selected and it will import this grower farm field structure with that prescription and boundary. Once that is done, I will go to my grower farm field tab, my operations tab. And here's where I'm going to verify the grower farm and field that I will be operating in. I'm going to select the crop type and then at the very bottom of this page when I assign my products I will be able to select that product and you'll notice the prescription window will now be active. At that point in time I can select that prescription and this product will be assigned to all rows. At this point in time we're ready to go ahead and apply that prescription in the field. For further questions Please consult your operator's manual or visit your Case IH dealer.